Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday. And Monday is one of them days where we try to get all the chores done from, from the weekend, all the stuff that needs done. So I've been mowing yards and weed whacking and cleaning out dog kennels. And her, her mom has been, has been cleaning the house. And part of my daily chore for this Monday, we have to take the beast on a run. She's got far too much energy. She's been ripping through the house and causing chaos. Time to wear her out. Come up here and take my hand. When I let you go, you cry. Oh, yes, he's a 60 minute man. There'll be 50 minutes of kissing. Then you holler, please don't stop. Don't stop. There'll be 50 minutes of teasing. And 50 minutes of pleasing. And 50 minutes of blowing my top, top, up, up. Treating you right, come up and see old Dan. I'll rock 'em, roll 'em all night long. I'm a sixty minute man, sixty minute man. Call on it, the love and then I'll rock, roll all night long. I'm a sixty minute man, sixty. Okay. 
kissing Then you holler, please don't stop Don't stop There'll be 50 minutes teasing And 50 minutes freezing And 50 minutes of blowing my top top up, 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 up. If your old man ain't treating you right Come up and see old Dan I'll rock him, roll him all night long I'm a 60 minute man just out here at the golf course a cooler of water with cups now that is a nice gesture that's awesome we're out riding bikes I've come past here running before get thirsty come over here just grab some water that's pretty cool that they do I mean I know it's for the golf course and probably for the people out here but they don't care that we drink it pretty cool that was really good and this water is in memory of this guy. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Me and mommy are really tired. What? Okay, we'll head home. All right, so the backdrop's a start. Um, I'm gonna have to maybe move computer monitors and stuff back there, but that's a start. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Yeah, that kind of helps. I don't need that light on. I got a light on over there. So anyway, <laughs> um, just had Father's Day. Just had Father's Day, um, and and I had a great time. I spent. Um, good quality time with my wife and my children, and that's what it was all about for me. Um, my son took me to Chinese restaurant and paid for my lunch, which was an awesome gift. And um, and then um, I got I got other gifts from from my other kids. The awesome card my youngest daughter gave me got to me, got to my heart. Um, but uh, and it was great, and I loved it. I just it's not about the gifts, honestly. It is absolutely not about the gifts. But the thought behind that, 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 that they, they know what I like and they know what I would want and, 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 and they do that. I, I mean, absolutely, if they did not give me anything, they just, like they did, they came over that morning and just spent the day with me, meant everything. So um, it's not really about getting anything, honestly. It's just about them and who they are and how they care about me means a lot. So um, Father's Day for me was fantastic. It, I had a great day. I had a fantastic day. I didn't get to spend the day with my own father on Father's Day, but we went the weekend before and spent a good time with him and, and we had a blast. Um, I will tell you something about my dad, um, how, how me and him are, are alike. Um, we, we share the same kind of immature humor. We find, we find the same things funny. Um, 
I mean, he, he and I are a lot different in a lot of ways, but in, in, in that way, in, in the way that we, we make ourselves and, and other people laugh, um, we're a lot alike. <laughs> and that's awesome. And when you get the two of us together, it's a good time. Um, my dad is, is uh, my dad's a great guy. Um, I, can, I can honestly say my dad's a great guy. He, uh, he is the strongest man I know. Absolutely, no doubt, the strongest man I know. Some of the things he's gone through in his life and, and has overcome and has kept his faith in God no matter what life has thrown at him. And life has thrown him a curveball more than once. And to see him keep that faith, because a lot of people will lose their faith. They'll blame God. That's the first person they blame when something goes wrong, and um, not him. And that takes strength. And that, that is who my dad is, a very, very strong man in that sense. Um, funny. He is hilarious. A funny guy. Uh, makes me laugh all the time. He does Snapchat, which, I mean, that's whatever. A lot of people do Snapchat, but he, some of his stuff is great um, and, and and we snapchat back and forth and he's just uh, he's my dad <laughs> and, and, and and I'm proud that he is my dad and he's a good dad and uh, we've had ups and downs whatever I was a terrible teenager I was an awful awful teenager I do not wish the way I acted as a teenager on any parent and kids if you're listening treat your parents right because normally, in most situations, parents are trying very, very hard. And they love you, and they're trying to raise you in a world that has gone haywire. And, and they want the best for you, and they're working, and sometimes they get stressed, but they're doing their best, so just be good. Help them with that. <laughs> because uh, they're stressing out enough on trying to raise you and do things right for you. Just be a good kid. Don't be... A terrible teenager don't put your parents through that they don't deserve it so dad I know sometimes you watch these vlogs um, when you get the chance and hopefully you watch this one I'm probably gonna make sure you watch this one because I want you to know this you are the best dad aside from past ups and downs I love you and I thank you for your strength and your honesty and the person you are today and uh, it, it means a lot to me you're, you're, you're one of the most giving loving part people that I know and, and I mean that so thank you dad happy Father's Day I know I, I called you on Father's Day and already told you happy Father's Day but happy Father's Day I love you so much and I hope your day was good Alrighty guys, that is the end of today's daily vlog. I had a pretty good day today. I had a really nice day today. Me and my, my wife and myself and even my daughter Emily is now on this thing. She's probably on <laughs> on this this health thing with us because she has high hopes of going to Cancun with us. She's not going. But um, not that I don't want her to go. I I think it would be a cool experience for her. But there's two reasons she's not. For one, it's a company thing. My wife, it's a company thing. And for two, my wife and myself never really had an anniversary, so this is kind of going to feel after 22 years, this is going to be that. So um, it's going to be a week. That's going to be hard to be away from Emily for a week. I mean, she is, <laughs> she is my buddy. But anyway, um, th this is day, day one. Um, of, of our whole fitness, getting into shape. Um, we, we went on a bike ride. Um, and, and got that exercise out of the way. Been really watching our nutrition all day. We're going to work on starting to burn down all these calories and this fat that I got sitting on my belly and my love handles. And I've always kind of had that, but it's time to kind of get rid of that. And 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 it's 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 all about it. honestly, it's all about I want to I want to I want to feel comfortable on the beaches of Cancun. And uh, yes you know, for doing videos and pictures and things like that. I don't want to feel uncomfortable. So um, I'm taking this very serious and, and we're going to, we're going to do this, my wife and I and Emily. Emily's got a, a chart. She does that. She's organized like her mother. So she's put together a chart and things that she can and can't eat and things she's going to watch out for. And I think it's great. And if I had anything to do with her, very conscious about her health and fitness, amen. Because, um, 
my, my kids, I think that if, if I'm setting an example, I think it's that, that, that I'm determined to stay healthy. Um, and I think that they see that. And I think uh, my middle daughter runs with me. Emily is always biking and longboarding and walking with me or her mother and my oldest daughter is walking with her mom as well. And uh, they're, they're kind of health conscious these days and, and they're so young and in and, and, and great shape. So, but the fact that they're health conscious at this age is good, very good. Because then by the time they get my age, they'll, uh, they won't have to work so hard at it like I had to work so hard at it. <laughs> so hard at it. Still working very hard at it and it's still. The, the weight thing is still not easy. That gets out of control so quick with me because I fall off the nutritional wagon all the time. And I'm not proud to say it, but I'm a human being. I'm doing my best. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Daily Vlog, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!